Hello everyone, welcome to the Humble Servants Homestead. What we're going to be doing today guys is we're going to be doing a no-till section here in our garden. Right here once was where the peach tree was that uh, got broken. So what I went ahead and did was remove that peach tree. So we're going to go ahead right now and get ready to go ahead and weed eat this area right here. And then we're going to be bringing in our cardboard and our borders and show you how we go about getting a section ready for no tilling. Okay, and as you guys can see, you see all this weed that are right here. Uh, the cardboard and everything, once we bring it in, we're going to be sitting it on top of here. And I will show you guys a demonstration while we do the video while we're rolling and what we're going to be putting down is organic uh, matters compost um, we got some wood chip that been broken down over the years and also we're going to be taking you guys inside of the chicken coop and we're going to be gathering all that you know it's a section in the chicken coop that already been broken down and that's what we're going to be laying here in this area to show you guys and give you guys a demonstration so I'm gonna go ahead and get the you know we did him going and just, to, just to beat the, the grass down a little bit. guys now that I got through beating the heads off the grass uh, now we're back here with the cardboard so what I'm gonna be doing is laying these cardboards down and I don't want to do just one layer of cardboard when I'm laying it down I want to do at least two layers of cardboard while I lay them down and guys I know you're wondering <clears throat> where I get these cardboards from uh, you could go to your local grocery stores around your area uh, you know Walmart you know early in the morning though because that's when they stack stock the shelves and you want to catch them early in the morning to get these cardboard now what you want to do while you preparing your cardboard is that all the tapes that are on your cardboard you want to make sure you remove those and if you guys can please avoid the cardboard that have wax on them because the wax you know it's, it's like plastic and all that different kind of stuff that they use to put that wax on the cardboard so if you guys can avoid the wax cardboard that would be great okay so now I'm gonna just go ahead and get these boxes prepared and get them ready to be laid down and we will get back with you shortly so guys, as you guys can see that we just got through uh, laying out all of our cardboard so now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be getting these four by six and line them along the edge right here and that's gonna be my border so once I come in with the mulch and the compost you know it will keep it in and all that stuff you know all the compost won't roll out of the bed that I'm making but as this bed over time get established uh, I will move the borders away from them and also I'm going to be putting in rows so as I go along and get this process done I will show you eventually what the it will look like at the end so now I'm gonna just go ahead and get these borders in and what I will do as I come back in and get ready to make my next row this right here is going to be my walkway and what I will do is when I come through I will get my cardboard and I will lift this up and tuck, tuck it under to overlap it to have my walkway because the whole point of this method, method here is to keep the weeds down we do not want any weeds to be growing in our garden okay and so what I'm going to be doing right now, I'm going to go ahead, I have a wheelbarrow of, you know, this is broken down wood chip. And this stuff here been sitting for quite a while. As you guys can see, look at here, it's broken down all the way, you know, and this stuff here, I'm going to be putting this on the bottom of the compost and what I'm gonna be doing once I lay this here on the bottom I'm gonna come back and lay my chicken and goat compost on the top okay so I'm gonna go ahead and lay this on out and I'm gonna come back 
you know, and finish laying everything out, and then we'll show you guys how we go ahead and get the compost out uh, the chicken coop. Guys, now we're back, and uh, what we're getting ready to do right now is go ahead and lay this compost here in the bed that we just made. All right. In, in, in this here is if you want to do it at home and you don't want to have to break the ground or anything like that you guys can go ahead and you know probably check out on Craigslist on the website to get organic uh, compost and stuff like that to be able to do this here at home your, by yourself and as you guys can see it is very simple it's just laying down your cardboard making a border and pretty much go ahead and lay your material out and you can actually plant the same day you know so it's it's you know hey it is very it's very good and it will save you a lot of time having to come out here in the garden and pulling weed and you know and as you guys know we don't like to pull weed you know because it takes a lot of time and so eventually you know, the plan is to get the whole garden, you know, this process here, okay? All right, and we'll see you guys shortly. Now that, as you guys can see, that I have uh, the compost laid out here. So the next step now is I'll be going inside of the chicken coop and getting, you know, the fowl manure you know, AKA compost that, you know, it's been sitting down in there and breaking down over a period of time. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab that. And what I'm gonna be doing as well, as I come with this chicken compost and I, you know, spread it all out, what I'm gonna be doing, you know, just to add a little bit more nutrients in it, because like I said, this right here is broken down wood chip, you know, which is, you know, went through the process of composing over couple of years so and as I come back through I'm gonna be having you know the stuff that I use in the garden you know it is pretty good but um we're gonna take you on over here into the chicken coop right now and go ahead and shovel up some fall manure and you know bring it on over here and spread in the bed and so guys now that we're here inside of the chicken coop um, as you guys can see this is the compost here you know it's been sitting down in here for quite a while just give you all a, a close-up of what we're going to be working with you know it's, it's very nice loose broken down compost you know and this is just uh, chicken poop and you know a little bit of goat manure as well this compost right here actually been here when we bought this property um, it was you know a lot over here and then what I did I took some out and also used in the garden previously so you know that yeah in the process now just going ahead and you know shoveling in the wheelbarrow and guys if, you know if, if you're working on the large scale with compost or mulch or anything like that just from getting from point A to point B you know you definitely need a wheelbarrow so this is about what I can handle here in the wheelbarrow, <laughs> you know, so we're going to be going ahead and heading on now. Guys, what we're going to be doing pretty much is taking our aerator and we're just going to be spreading. And what we're
we're gonna probably be doing is we probably is gonna come back with more uh, you know compost because we're probably gonna be planting uh, carrots and beets in these beds and so what I want to do is I want to build it up especially for your carrots because you know they do run you know down so we want to be able to have enough soil or have it high enough to once your carrots starting to run you know they won't be the cardboard won't interfere with their roots okay so guys, now that I have this stuff here spread it out what I'm gonna be coming through with is my expert gardener mix organic mix and I'm just gonna come through and spread it right on top of this compost now this compost probably I already have enough nutrients in it to be able to go ahead and grow whatever it is that you're trying to grow but I'm just gonna have that organic mix to it just to give it you know an extra boost because remember the compost that we have on the bottom is wood chip and you know the wood chip just don't have enough nutrients in it so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and add go ahead and add that expert gardener mix and once I add this in what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna water it so this stuff can go ahead and seep on down into the wood chip so whenever you plant whatever it is you're planting you know that right there can go ahead and you know you have a nice soil with all the nutrients and minerals that the plant needs. And it's just, just putting just a light bit on top. Okay. And so guys, you know, and and this is how I, you know, do a no dig bed, you know, for planting. And you know, if you guys, you know, like the content you all are getting, you know, just please go ahead and you know subscribe to our channel and like and hit the thumbs up and also hit that notification bell so that whenever you know we do have other videos that come up learning videos you know because you know, I know it's a lot of our brothers and, and sisters out there you know and trying to get getting into the gardening and planning and just to let you guys know that it's, it's not hard you know it, it is not hard growing your own food and as we all know things that are going on around us right now now is that time for us to go ahead get outside get our hand dirty and get the planet you know because it, it's going to come a time when there's food shortage and you know we don't want to get you know caught up in that so if we have our own food growing in our backyards at least you know that hey that is a meal that will be on the table for not just you for your family and maybe some friends you know so just please you know hit that notification bell you know like and subscribe our channel and this is here guy is how we go ahead and get a no-till garden started and all you need is cardboard and compost and your borders and you should be good to go all right have a blessed one and always stay strong